Yo what's up Kempty here and in today's tutorial I'm just gonna show you how you can make a pretty cool background and this is gonna be a step by step tutorial so there will be more parts like 3 or 4 and in today's first part I'm gonna show you how you can make the basics like the boxes and a bit of the background so we got the background black and to add a cool effect just make a new layer select the brush tool um, select the size of about 1900 so then just like here just make sure you are on the middle press OK that was wrong <laughs> just select white and make the color to white and then make sure you are in the middle and press uh, color that and then put opacity down to about 20 or 30 whatever you like I'll put it on 30 so now zoom in like so okay I'll just merge the black background with that um, bit gray one or put it on 25 I'll put the opacity on about 20 and move it a bit up to the top because you're mainly gonna design um, on this part of the background so move that a bit to the top and then just merge these two layers so you got the background and now the boxes like you see them they're just gray black whatever um, they're not looking pretty good so I'll just double click the layer for of the boxes the layer style options will open up and first of all what we are going to do is add a stroke put the size of it to about 1 make the color to white position outside and blend mode overlay and it gets this cool effect then we go on bevel and emboss we put the depth to about one the size to about zero the angel just leave it as use global light the shadow mode to multiply and 75 percent and then the highlight mode to screen but put the opacity down to about 35 35 or 40 not 35 something like that looks good just make it like your personal preferences are and yeah then next thing is click drop shadow now blend mode multiply opacity 100 percent distance 0 speed about between 15 and 20 but I always use 20 looks as best and then the size put it up to about 15 something like that just between 10 and 20 depends on how um, your background will be if you make a light background a pretty bright one with white and light gray colors then it's better you make it smaller because then it will be too much like you know um, it will be too dark and will stand out too much so just make that to your personal preferences and how you want to design the background um, also if you want you can add inner shadow distance to zero as well joke 20 and the size to about 7 or 10 just personal preferences again um, and then if you want put a gradient overlay on and make it from black to a pretty dark gray like so just just leave it like that so now you got the layer style of the um, boxes done so what we are going to do is let this whole thing look more real and add more lights and stuff so make a new layer and create a clipping mask between the layer you created and the boxes uh, phone 
shut up. So we just uh, got the layer here and now we go to the brush tool make it down to about 400 pixels um, select the first smooth the um, brush tool and then we go on um, make color to white again go on the first one here and just make it like that Should go just uh, I know that that's not a good idea so I'll just delete the gradient overlay here <clears throat> and yeah then we got this one we are just gonna put the opacity down to about 20 percent okay that was the wrong layer I wondered what happened so um the opacity of the layer you made this white <coughs> Dot, just make that down to about 20% and then use the rectangular mur murky tool and delete the st this um, the stuff you don't want to have here because you want to light this one so delete that go here delete that as well and this one as well so you got that one done so you got that lighted. I think it's a bit too much, so put it down to about 15% or 10%. Just like your personal preferences are again, I'll put it down to about 10%. So now, same thing again. Select the brush tool again, make a new layer, create the clipping mask again, make the same on this one, and same again. Delete what you don't need here so now put the opacity down to about 10 as well and then you got these two boxes uh, lighted so next one will be this one and for that we put the brush on about 800 pixels so make a new layer again create clipping mask and add it here same again, delete what you don't need. Decide here. There's something worse. So, and then put your opacity down to 10 again. Create a new layer. Create a clipping mask. Brush tool. And 1000 pixels. And now we come or one thousand two hundred. Then we come to this one. Just go here, click that. Um, hey, don't delete. Need to delete anything. Put the opacity down to about ten percent again. And then we got everything lighted. So what you can do now is, for example, go here. Um, create a new layer, don't create clipping mask now, select the brush tool, put it down to about 3 pixels, then white, set a dot in the middle, and then just transform this dot, then it goes like that, so you added a line which is uh, highlighting this stroke here now so just uh, zoom in I'll make it a bit smaller like that zoom out again so yeah um, then just duplicate it and put it on the top like here and here can do the same on, on everything else that's just uh, how I pretty much made my made my um templates just uh, make something <coughs> oh, make something like that and you will have pretty cool boxes and yeah that was was it for this tutorial um in the next tutorial, I'm coming to 3D tags in Cinema 4D. 
and how to let it look pretty cool in Photoshop land add some cool effects and stuff so yeah that was it pretty much um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned please leave a like comment and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please go and subscribe it and yeah stay active on my channel follow me and yeah keep uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial part of this backer tutorial so I'll see you bye